look at yourself. So today we are going to be doing an inner self portrait. So this is my inner self that just popped out and um, that's kind of all you need really. You need some outside eyes um, and I'm not talking about real people's outside eyes, I'm just talking about some kind of props. So um, you could use some plastic eyes like these. Uh, these are, you can buy these from loads of different places really, they're very cheap. They're normally about 80p to a pound for a pack, um, you normally get about five in a pack. Um, so I got these from Tiger, they were very good. You can get them online wherever you like, really. Um, however, you can also make your own googly eyes um, if you're a crafty person, you might have some of those lying around. You can just stick them on a bit of card, pop a couple of holes in, and Bob's your uncle, you've got these lovely uh, outside eyes that could act like this. Um, or, um, if you're just not into spending and not into um, one-time uh, use only items and you're not going to reuse them, um, just grab yourself a sharpie and just draw onto your drawing and writing hand some eyes. That's a bit trickier because you're using your not drawing and writing hand to draw onto your drawing and writing hand. I've just pre-done mine with a little bit of white because I've got these white chalk markers from using the from uh, decking the set out. So I'm just going to add some little extra eyeball details and maybe just to make them stand out I might just do some little eyelashes at the top lovely right. pair of lovely eyes there for you you see those um, and then um, once you've got your outside eyes whatever they might be I'm gonna put these lovely plastic ones back on for now because I do love them um, it looks quite sweet really when they're holding a pen they're ready to start uh, drawing you and so what uh, what your inner self is gonna do is this here is your inner self and it's holding the pen and it's gonna do a portrait of you um, it's gonna look at you and it's gonna kind of like just examine you a little bit um, and draw you and it doesn't need to be perfect it can be symbolic um, just however it is that your inner self sees you and that could be at your sparkliest and it could be at your least sparkliest as well um, and we kind of use that as a little bit of like a, a, a place to bounce off from really um, so here I'm gonna have a little take that off actually so um, so here is one I did earlier, uh, Blue Peter style, and I'm just going to use this for reference as well. So essentially, um, what I did when I started drawing my inner self using these eyes is I have drawn my face as I see it. Now I have quite a goofy smile because my teeth are a little bit crooked, so I'll put my goofy smile on there like that. And um, I also added on to my picture... Um, I added on, oh yeah, so essentially like I wear a lot of makeup as I get older and um, I have terrible eyeliner, I need to get some new eyeliner so I just basically drew my eyes on mine, it's quite, um, it's quite smudged as you can see there, um, so it's just like a little note really, I need to get some new eyeliner. Um, I do quite like my hairstyle, um, it's not the best today styled wise, um, it's not freshly washed but, um, but I've put my, my half black and my half uh, uh, white hairstyle on there as well, my natural and my, and my knots. Um, I do think I've got some good jewellery so I've, I've just drawn that using my, um, using my inner self as well on there. So I've got my jewellery on there as well. Um, and yeah, and I've, I've got these pound signs going around my head because that's something that I am often, um, often thinking about is cash and money and um, that I haven't got enough of it. Um, so that's something that's constantly going around in my head and that's, that's what my inner self thinks about uh, what, things I look like really, um, things that I look like money anxiety, uh, like I look a bit smudgy eyelinery, but I've got good hair um, and you know I've got some good some good jewellery um, and a lot of smudged makeup a lot of the time. Um, so if, you know making it an accurate picture really. And then what's really nice just to make you feel like what's what's your inner glitter, what's 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 the you-ness about you?
Hi, so I'm back um, and I asked three people really quickly um, what they thought the most me thing was about Meg and um, overall what it kind of came down to um, was that people thought the most me thing about Meg was talking to people. <laughs> um, I think uh, what came up is talking to people in different ways, um, yeah, having holding conversations um, and being a good chatter. So that's kind of what came up. Um, and I don't want to say too much more. Um, you'll have your own personal things that people will say that is the most you thing about you. Um, I thought that was quite a nice thing. Um, and so I basically just condensed that into great chat. So um, I just put great chat now on my, uh, on my portrait. And um, what's just really nice is if you have some glitter um, lying around at home now, um, you can just take a little bit of glitter like this. You can plop a little bit of glue at the top of your portrait. Now, um, it, you don't have to have glitter. It could be like literally icing because you know, it's like the icing on top, isn't it? It's it's the you, it's the you that shines through the individual. So be whatever you think that is gonna christen um, your card as, as the, the shiny bit of you, you-ness. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of say out loud um, what I've written down here. So you're gonna say your name, and then you have, or you got, or the you about you, something like that. I'm gonna say, Megan, you have got great chat. And this here is the glitter on top, the cherry on top of the cake, if you will. It's quite a good little thing just to look at, really. Your little self-portrait. Um, I've got, uh, a little note list here as well so as with all make with Megs um, it's good to just take some notes and there's a reason that we're doing everything but I don't think it always needs explaining um, so with this my notes taken forwards from my from my drawing are um, yeah you've got some good hair and you've got some good jewellery keep going with those for now that's good um, bad things are your money situation if that's going around in your head and you're really worried about it you need to make some more money, so make that happen. Get a new part-time job, sort that out. Um, oh yeah, my chin fat, that was something that I put on my illustration. So maybe go on a little bit of a diet, do a little bit more exercise, get back on the 5-2. Um, eyeliner, yeah, just buy a new eyeliner, get that job, buy a new eyeliner, and keep yourself in check. And then hopefully the next time your inner self pops out to draw a picture of you, some of those negatives will be turned into brilliant positives. And that's, um, that's an inner self-portrait. Thanks. I made with Meg. Yeah, you did. What have you done? Done an inner self-portrait. I've done an inner self-portrait and it's mainly confusion and hair. Aww, well done! <laughs> yes. Is it all in camera?